when should you create a new web property or property as they're now known? Well, um, it varies depending on your setup, but my general rule of thumb is if you are tracking a single domain, then you only need one property. If uh, you are tracking a mobile website that is responsive, i.e. it's the same URL effectively as your main website, it just scales to fit a mobile device, then I would track that alongside your main website in the same property. And you can always use uh, segments to filter out anything that was saw the site on a mobile device. So I'd have your responsive website, responsive mobile website, and your main website in the same property. If you have a completely different uh, mobile website, so it's a completely different site, it looks totally different, then you might want to think about tracking that in a separate property. And the reason for that is if the site's very different, chances are how people interact with it and the kind of events you want to trigger and what people do on that site and the way they use it is also different to your main site. So uh, having it separate would, would probably be a good idea. The same goes for apps. I would, I would normally track each app in its own property as well. If you've got subdomains of your main website, for example, if you have blog whatever.com. Um, in the past, people tended to have that in its own property. Uh, I don't know whether they were scared of inflating the numbers uh, for, the, for the, the main domain, but I would recommend you have that in the same property as well, to use the same tracking code on all your subdomains. Um, the reason for that is just because you want an overall complete picture of what's going on on your website. You don't want to have to switch between properties to see what's going on. Um, one thing, though, is if you if you do track your subdomains within a property, then you will need to set up a particular filter in your view to allow you to see what the uh, host name of the domain is, or the host name is of the page. Uh, the reason for doing this: imagine you have a page on your blog called blog.mydomain.com forward slash home and your main site also has mydomain.com forward slash home. Google won't know that um, any page views to either slash home on the blog or slash home on the main site will just appear as slash home in your in your in your reports and you won't be able to distinguish which home page uh, the visits were to. So in order to do that, you need to set up a filter to add the host name or append, prepend the host name to the front of the, the, the URL. So you'll be able to see that in reports. And I'll be covering that in another video.